the coffee's brewing. Hey, how are you? Hey, hi, how are you? Whoa, I can't talk. However, I made a video about my face care. Not doing makeup today. Pink girls. Sweatpants. Long sleeve shirt. Scarf on head. We're good. But before I get to doing anything else around the house. Oh. I need to get this pork pulled for dinner later. Because I could leave. I have left it in the crock pot longer. But I started it last night. So it's fine. I did it because I didn't have enough um, onion powder. I did it with onion pieces. So the onions remind me, the smells remind me of when you make a roast beef. It's amazing. And I did half of a pork loin, which I can't even pick up the whole pork loin right now. So all I'm doing, and my wrist brace is on because um, if you saw where I was curling my hair, wanting being very smart, Oh, I need to put some moisturizer on my lips. Face mask got on them in their little... But all I'm doing is taking the two forks. If you haven't made pulled pork before. That's a lovely sound. Get off the fork. And I'm kind of pulling everything apart like this. And it doesn't take long. And then I'm going to make a quick, easy barbecue sauce. Just a little bit because the girls and I don't really like super juicy barbecue. And I'm going to do with it what I have in, on hand because, you know, that's what you should do if you, you know, don't want to spend too much money. Be a little thrifty. Do it with what you have on hand. My crock pot pot itself, the liner, is sitting on a hot plate at the moment. Uh, why do I have a hot plate? Because I haven't bought a stove yet. I have hot plates, I have electric skillets, I have a crock pot, I have an air fryer. The actual purchase of a stove is not on the very top of my list. It is there. It will get done. It's just not on the very top. And I'm not worried about it because if you've ever been camping, I mean, I don't have a grill. And I don't have a fire pit up in my yard. So if you've ever been camping, you know pretty well that you can get along with a hot pot or a hot plate, a crock pot. Usually you don't take the crock pot camping, but you know, I'm extra. Um, and an electric skillet. I also have the air fryer. So it's not that big of a deal for me. Get off my booty, kitty cat. We have a kitten, if I haven't shown him in any videos, and I'm not sure if I have. His name is Proby Anthony Dodongo, and uh, he's still very, very young, so he thinks it's a great idea, because I, Mom, to pounce me every few minutes. I'm like, the world is going to end if he doesn't. And I'm leaving the onions in there, because I want them. And the crackpot's right behind you. Oh, my God, it's almost ready. Let me make a cup of coffee. It has a pause feature. Smoke it. Love is just to make the other things. Here's my hot plate. Put the lid on that so the cats don't get it, and I'll be right back with some coffee. My phone did a weird ad thing. I don't even know if all the stuff before this is recorded. I'm not gonna go check. Yes, I still vape. I got my coffee. Yes. <clears throat> I have to plug this in, but I'll do that before I start. I have... Ow! No, I don't know who you are. Hold on. <coughs> Apparently, there's a TikTok challenge of fight clubs going on in one of my children's school. If you're wondering what I'm doing, <laughs> squeezing the, like, five, six packets of tomato ketchup we have at the house. Um, into the tomato soup with condensed uh, and nothing added to it at the moment other than the ketchup because ketchup is the main ingredient in most barbecue sauces. I have some soy sauce here. If I can figure out how to open it, that would be wonderful. Um, you don't need to go out and buy a, a fancy barbecue sauce. 
or a not fancy barbecue sauce or a barbecue sauce at all. I don't know if this has anything in it. Get out of the sink and out of the bag. My goodness. Cats. One's in the sink. I have dishes to do from last night. And, of course, you know, I drained the fork. So, he thinks he's in heaven. And the youngest kitten, you know, the one who keeps spitting my butt. Why is this being such a pain in my neck? Is currently chasing stuff around my kitchen floor in and out of the container that had, the plastic that had the water bottles in it. Because, you know, they're, they're spastic kittens. They're babies. That's okay. I wish you'd get out of my sink, but at the moment I haven't cleaned the dishes, I'm not going to argue with them. What I'm going to do here is a couple splashes of this soy sauce that I just opened. Um, the barbecue sauce that I'm used to making has both Worcestershire and soy sauce in it. I'm going to throw some garlic powder in here. There's enough onion in that that I don't need to put that there. Mm-hmm. My pepper's over there, my sugar's over there. So I'm going to have to grab those. This is just some adobo. Well, I'm not adding any more salt between the adobo, which, you know, not everybody uses, and the soy sauce. I shouldn't need any more salt. Hold on. Button. The adventures of cooking at my house. The rack behind me holds a lot of tools. They're my eldest daughter. She's promised me she'll get them out of my kitchen soon. And the racket can be removed. I can't wait because it's aggravating. She's got chocolate, which I just put all over my pants. On the table from some recipes that she'd gotten off of TikTok. You know, the same place where, you know, these children are supposedly having fight clubs. This is not the smartest thing to do when you have a sprained wrist, so I'm not going to, like, move the wrist too much. This brace doesn't let me move the wrist. Okay, there's that. There's something to be said for cleaning up or cooking while you're, um, sitting down, though. I'm using regular white table sugar because I do not have brown sugar at the moment. Brown sugar is better in barbecue sauce. I'll probably grab some honey before this is all out and probably add more other stuff, but a whisk. And I'm just going to whisk all this together. It's not hot yet. I haven't turned on the hot plate yet. I have to plug it in first. I do the only things that stay plugged in in my house on a consistent basis are lamps. The refrigerator, the microwave, and the coffee pot. Because anything that can be unplugged, I unplug. It's safe on electricity because, believe it or not, it does draw power just to be plugged in. Let me plug this in and grab a spoon for tasting because I might need more sugar. And I'll grab the honey down while I'm up just because I'm tired of getting up and down and, and pause. Yeah. And those plastic bags you see behind me are because of my daughter's dog. Now that I'm not in Jersey and don't have reusable bags everywhere, it is a very big blessing to have the plastic ones again. Opening the honey. If I don't use it in this, I'll definitely be making a cup of tea later. So, it's on to the barbecue sauce not hot yet and all the sugar's not melted all that stuff but let's see yeah. haven't made it before with tomato soup which obviously has its own seasonings in it And the savory part of it is good, but I like sweet barbecue sauce. And I like honey barbecue sauce. Honey's good.
lid to a bottle cap. I was answering a text. Hi. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of stuff over there. You're kind of on an angle. I don't think you mind. Um, and I'll take a picture of this with just the honey sitting on top of it and the sugar. And I know you guys are going, that's a lot of sugar. That's a lot of honey. Let me tell you, it is more sugar than ketchup when you make a barbecue sauce. More sugar than anything else. It doesn't seem like it, but pound-wise, it definitely is. Or, you know, possibly just about equal, um, depending on which one you're doing. And usually you use a brown sugar. Of course, you can make a brown sugar if you have white sugar and molasses. I do not. I just have the white sugar. I know it's slightly too sweet. And I do mean just slightly. A little bit of soy sauce. Bring back in the salt. I can taste the garlic in there, so I'm not worried about that. Although I might add more garlic, because you can never have enough garlic. It's not my opinion. There's other seasonings you can use. And this is just one I'm winging off the top of my head. Okay? Barbecue sauce does not have to be complicated. Ever. There's no need to make it complicated. Now, if I were at work or making food for, oh, say you, I'd be using a different spoon every time I dip it into my pan to taste it. But, this is just for me and my family. So, it doesn't matter. A little bit of garlic. Probably a lot more than you would put in there unless you, you know, like garlic. Hey, put it up. A couple more splashes of soy. Cleanse my palate because that was... Not exactly the flavor I was looking for. It's getting closer. But... When I say you legitimately do not need to go out to the store just because you don't have a sauce, please believe me, you can whip up just about any sauce out of just about anything you have in the house. Just get a little creative. Our grandparents, our mothers, our great-grandparents, they knew how to stretch a dollar. We seem to have forgotten this in these days and age. People don't eat leftovers anymore. They don't make two or three meals out of the same portion of meat. They don't make their own sauces, they don't can, they don't eat leftovers. I think I already said that, but that really bothers me that leftovers don't get eaten. And I'm just as guilty because I'll make a container of leftovers to take to work and then I don't do it. What the problem there was I took out too much of the sweet. Either that or the last time I had a bunch of sugar instead of barbecue sauce. It's really not complicated. And I'm not trying to bring it to a boil. refrigerator last night. Oh. If I need it, I'll get it. Last night I had made, which is why we have the other portion of the half of a pork loin that's being made into barbecue pork pork. I'd made pork fried rice. I didn't fry the rice enough, but I made pork fried rice. So the texture was off, but it tasted good.
And when I make pork fried rice, I use, I think it's Kraft Sriracha honey. It's got heat to it and honey in it. And it makes my day better. And we'll get this sugar incorporated. And you'll notice this is not measuring. Cooking should be done by the heart. If you don't know how to make something, obviously follow the recipe. But if you're making it yourself, like, and not for other people, just you and your family, don't be afraid to experiment. Baking's a little different. You can experiment with baking to a point. Um, kind of important if you need, you know, baking soda or baking flour in the flour. Baking powder in there that you use the correct amount, or you know, the correct amount of eggs, or what have you. But you can experiment with it to an extent. And you can see the steam coming off of this at the moment. I don't like water. When it's plain, I do have a new circle water bottle. It is making my life immensely easier. However, I'm cooking and I'm not playing water to make sure that I'm not picking up the wrong flavor. That'll do. So now I'm all good. All I'm going to do is pour that into the container where the the crock pot container. Mix it up and then the crock pot back on. I'll be right back with you. So, <clears throat> barbecue sauce is now in the crock pot. Coffee's ready. I don't know what I did to my sink plug again. It's here. I just had it in my hand. I don't know what I did with it. You know, you put it in a safe place for five seconds and you lose it. That's what happens every day. The rest of my day is going to be finishing up the one or two spreads I need to do in my bullet journal for February to show you guys. Never did finish January the way I wanted to, so I didn't make a video. Let's see how this tastes. Mm. Very, very good. Very, very good. So that takes care of dinner. We have bread in the house. Can be served on bread. We're likely going to do it on... Um, these mini taco shells, the street taco shells, because that just sounds better to me. And I'm probably going to add cheese to mine because I always do. The next order of business while I let the water heat up to do dishes is to straighten up a little bit. And hi, birds. And um, do one home improvement project because. <gasps> My door for my bedroom that we recently installed is is just a skosh too wide. Now I can plane it down. Yes, my ceiling's not done yet in my room. It's the only room in the house that has an issue. But I can plane it down and make it thinner so that it will close. But when I was looking at the door jam itself, there's like one, two, three, three layers between the jam itself and um the frame where i can actually pop off a layer see if that's going to work pop off another one if it doesn't and i don't think it'll have to pop off more than two so i'm going to straighten up a little bit while that water uh heats up then i'm going to take that door part well not the door but the door jam fix it um Garbage needs to go out. I could leave that for when Hopi gets home because that's hope my sure. eldest a break from having to do dinner because I just made dinner. It is literally just now 1226, which means I do not have to worry about food for dinner. Uh, I have coffee made. I've taken a bath. I've curled my hair. I've done my face care. Um, and as soon as I'm done with the chores around the house, which... All the animals have been fed, the litter boxes have been cleaned, and the dog has been out. I'll be able to sit on my butt, pop on a Disney movie, and, and play with my bullet journal. I'm looking forward. Okay, so, but since I 
was going to do this and I just mentioned it. I'd show you what I mean. I'm in the box out of the way because it, it, it's on a tilt. It, it's just that much. So the only things I need for this job are my hammer, screwdriver, and exacto knife. And all I'm going to do now is take the screws out. I have to figure out a better angle for that, I think, maybe. I also want you guys blinded. Take the screws out of the plate, the strike plate, I believe it's called, for the door. Oh yeah, see there's two layers on this side that are just kind of hanging here as well. And trim can go over it on both sides to fix any, like, me. So, strike plate removed. Hammer. Insert between these two pieces. And pry, because it's just staples. And it's thin board. All the way up. Very oh, spider whip. Very simple job to do. Now could I take this trim just completely down that's right here? Of course. I was hoping I'd get it in one like clean thing so I could show you guys a clean like, a clean one. <laughs> but of course I'm not that lucky. Two pieces of work. Um, might just close as soon as I get this straightened up. Now, it's easier to cut your trim than it is to clean a door at all times. I'm not worried about making it too particularly neat because I'm just trying to get the door to close and eventually this trim is getting changed out anyway. It doesn't involve going to the bottom of the floor, which is how I noticed the ability to do this. And again, I have another piece here that I can instantly get rid of if need be. It's also easier with a brand new blade and to go down toward yourself. And I just feel part of that piece and I don't honestly care. Obviously, if you did care or, you know, you are in the middle of renovations to where you were going to be replacing some of this, you would be a little bit more of that than just yanking it down. This was not that big of a deal. Kind of making it flush. I'll sweep that up in a minute. Almost. Does need the other one. And so just repeat the process. They had different doors in here at one time. And all they did was make a janky that's stuck on my brace. A janky um opening for the door handle. Um, the striker, whatever you want to call it. That one I got off in one piece. That's mostly showing the 2x4 piece behind it, but it's not real 2x4. Again. Taking this down. Now, if you're not a very handy person, let me assure you that this does not take particular skill. 
I'm using the interior right here as a place to drive the knife down. I didn't make this straight cut possible. Again, I'm not trying to be perfect here. Oh. That needs to clean up. And the strike plate's not on, and I may have to make that hole a little deeper. But. Oh yeah, if I put the strike plate on, this should close. So we're about to find out. That was a little bit more work up than I wanted. This is going to go right here in its previous home. Take the screws that you took out, thread it back into the holes that are there. That one I'm going to have to do something different with because they didn't go all the way in, so, um, well, wait. Oh no, it's there. I just don't have it in the right spot exactly. Okay. Hold on. I was like, that doesn't make any sense for it not to be there. And then I found a hole. I just curled the strike plate over the edge of the trim. Yeah, see, I'm gonna have to hollow out the hole. And there's a bit of a gap here now that if I'd been able to, whatever, move that one piece, it wouldn't have been there. But everything's a little bowed and cockeyed in here. And I don't mind that there's a gap so much. It'll be covered by trim when I put a new piece of trim up anyway, I think. Let me make sure the door... The hinges are doing what they're supposed to be doing and staying in. Because what happens is I have cats. <laughs> who like to hit my door and I noticed at the top, you know, after I took that second layer out, it was a little askew. And what had happened was the top screw and bottom screw of this hinge was pulling away slightly, they'd loosened. I don't have any Loctite to put on them. And that takes care of that. I'm gonna hollow this opening out a little bit more. Um. Whether I do that with a this knife or one of my cooking ones, I don't know. Uh, I'm scared the razor's gonna actually cut or break. So I'm gonna go get a cooking knife, hollow that out, make sure it closes better. But I have a functioning door. And that took less than 10 minutes. So there's the door actually shut now, not tied together with um, yarn and around a hook that I'm using for Jeez, this keeps popping out of my walls. I'm going to put longer screws into the holder. <sighs> but then if you come to the outside of it, this is where I'm talking about putting the trim. Not on the other side. Not where it's going to hinder the door. Because this piece doesn't have trim here. And this has the regular old 70s trailer trim. And you can see that they had put a door much too large for the area for the doorway 
right there, and I left the hinges. However, I have a functioning door. And teenagers who won't be looking into my hey, room anyway. To come in through the outside. Hello, Proby. Proby. Hi, baby. Yes, I need flooring in my room. Proby. Nope. Too much wiggle butt. And, like yeah. You. I'm not trying to make this thing perfect. I'm simply trying to make it the way I want to keep seeing um, spider webs. And I had picked up the wood from the floor and I need to sweep anyway. So I'm going to grab the broom, get rid of the spider webs, and fix that. I can't do much in way of uh, home improvement right now. I missed about half a month's worth of work because of this. Um, I did manage to get a piece of paneling up and now fix and, and a door up and now fix it to where it'll shut. I have to finish doing the roof in my room and the flooring in my room. But I'm not mad at it. Like, I'm still getting small things done. And that's all that really matters. So, I'm going to let you guys go. I'll finish this video off with some pictures of the um, barbecue pulled pork. But, I kind of wanted to show you guys that you don't have to be particularly skilled. And one of the reasons I wanted to show where I'm putting the trim at and the fact that it'll go slightly over the edge. Uh, which a lot of trims do anyway when they're installed. And, you know, you know, is because I know several people who actually know better than I do would have been like, Oh no, you shouldn't have taken that second layer off. You should have done the hinge. You should have done this first. Blah, 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 blah. Yes. Didn't notice it, so I didn't. And would it have fit the, if I had? Possibly. Should I drill that hole out with a drill? Yes, I don't own one, so I used a knife. It worked. And I have to replace the trim on the interior of the door, but I'm going to make sure that matches up where I want it. And then I'll replace the exterior with a slight low overlap. And most people aren't going to even know it was there. If I need to, I can put a small piece of glue on over this bare wood, and nobody will even know I took that down. When I say a slight piece of blue one, I mean the really, 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 really paper thin, almost blue one. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to let you go. Hope you have a great day, wonderful week. And before this video or the following that I just made previous to this about my face care, face care, comes out, you guys will see the bullet journal video. Because I have just enough time to come up with a couple ideas before I have to do the dishes. See you guys later. Hope you had a wonderful one. Bye.